Welcome to the Philippines Premier Motor Show. This is Autofocus. I am Ray Louis Gamboa. Here are our features on this edition of your electronic magazine, exclusive to the automobile and its industry. Starting off with reviews of two vehicle models presently in the local market, a seven-seater SUV from Geely, the Okavango Urban, and a light-duty truck from Isuzu, the N-Series Smoother. Plus, a feature-to-feature -feature comparison of two subcompact SUV crossovers, the Chevrolet Tracker Red Line versus the Kia Seltos SX AT. On Autopedia, we'll talk about how each supercharger works. And together with the latest news and developments in the local auto industry, we shall have the highlights of the 2022 Philippine International Motor Show as our special feature. The next 60 minutes is all about the automobile. This is Auto Focus, and we'll be right back after this short break. At the core of Toyota Gazoo Racing lies Motorsports DNA. Combine that with the Philippines' best selling sedan, you get the Vios GRS. Its black accent details and aero kit upgrade capture the feel and excitement on the track and the 10-speed CVT that exudes the TGR competitive spirit. On the road or on the track, always be ready for a heart-racing, exhilarating ride. The Vios GRS. Bring on the thrill. Suzuki El Tiga. Life is beating fast. Seven-seater in style. Kung ibig naghahanap ng truck na game sumabak Travis ang asahan sa maraming haputan Kayang Cargo 1,660 Kayang Cargo No problems of delivery Kayang Cargo 1,660 Kayang Cargo No problems of delivery Travis Ta-ta-ta-ta Travis Ta-ta-ta-ta Travis Ta-ta-ta-ta Travis Ta-ta-ta-ta Travis Ta-ta-ta-ta Travis Ta-ta-ta-ta Travis Transcend your business with the Isuzu Travis Inquire now at any Isuzu dealership near you Welcome back to Autofocus, the automobile show. We start this edition of your electronic magazine with a review of one of the latest automobile models from Geely. This edition of CarView takes a look at the Okavango Urban, the middle variant of Geely Philippines' entry in the highly competitive local 7-seater MPV SUV market. Geely Philippines is steadily growing its presence in the local crossover, SUV and MPV markets with a lineup that includes the Coolray, the Ascara, and the Oka Vango. While the Coolray is Geely's bestseller, the Ascara and the Oka Vango are benefiting from the subcompact crossover's surprising success, helping generate awareness and interest for Geely's bigger models. The Oka Vango in particular got to be mentioned in the mix of good value for money options in the midsize seven-seater MPV SUV market. When first launched, the Okavango is touted by Geely as a game-changing entry in the segment dominated by Toyota's Innova. Indeed, the Okavango had the looks, with Geely's distinctive expanding Cosmos grille, space, technology, and comfort and convenience features to get serious consideration from those looking for 7-seater MPVs or SUVs. At 4,835mm long, 1,900mm wide, and 1,785mm tall, with a 2,185mm long wheelbase, and 194mm ground clearance, the Okavango straddles that thin divide between MPV and SUV. Geely first brought in two trim levels of the Okavango, a Comfort and Urban, and later rolled out the Urban Plus, which mainly just added a 60-inch panoramic sunroof plus upgrades to headlamps and digital instrument panel. But this car review is all about the Geely Okavango Urban, which comes with all LED lighting fixtures, headlamps with automatic control, and daytime running lights, front and rear fog lamps. The lift gate in the Urban is powered for greater convenience. So are the side mirrors that are heated and out of folds. The rear spoiler comes with a center high mount stop lamp. Differentiating the Urban from the Comfort are chromed outside door handles and roof rails, as well as the two tone aluminum alloy wheels wrapped by 225 55R18 tires.
The Oka Vanguard interior looks and feels premium, with soft surfaces strategically placed among the hard plastics. This is especially true in the Urban even with the PVC leather upholstery. In the Urban, both driver and front passenger seats are powered six ways for the driver and four ways for the passenger. The expansive center console with a shifter, electronic parking brake control look classy and high-tech and functional all at the same time. The double-layer console hides a good-sized cubbyhole. Up front is a dash with a 12.3-inch digital instrument cluster as well as the 10.3-inch touchscreen multimedia with QD link for smart connectivity with mobile phones. The system allows for playing of music and videos and is integrated with 360-degree view cameras that should help with parking and dealing with narrow lanes and ramps that are the bane of driving long and wide MPVs. The second row has three individual seats that can fold separately. The third row seat for two splits and folds 50-50. The second and third row seats fold completely to provide as much as 2,050 liters of space for luggage and other cargo. With 19 seat configurations, the Okavanka provides a lot of possible options for taking on passengers and cargo. Complementing this are the 42 storage nooks and compartments that make the Okavanka just perfect for family trips, especially for those with children which come with the IS. Making it comfortable in long drives is a triple zone air conditioning system that comes with ceiling vents for the third row. The Okavango is among the first to equip its air conditioning system with CN95 filters, perfect for these COVID-19 times. All Okavango variants are powered by the same mild hybrid powertrain that features a 1.5-liter turbocharged 3-cylinder gasoline engine and 48-volt electric motor synergy system that together generates a maximum of 190 horsepower and 300 Nm of torque. This hybrid engine sends power to the front wheels via a 7-speed wet dual-clutch transmission system. Despite being a fuel-saving mild hybrid system powering a large-ish and heavy-ish people carrier, the Oka Vango can be a perky drive-in sport mode, one of three modes drivers can set, the others being Eco where the engine earns off while coasting and comfort. The suspension system featuring front McPherson struts and torsion beams in the rear absorbs road imperfections well enough, body roll and switchbacks are minimized. Ride and handling is best described as solid and predictable on the light and easy side with linear stopping power provided by an all-wheel disc brake system, ventilated in front and solid in the rear. It's a common theme in today's almost cutthroat competition for vehicle sales, but the Okavanko does a superb job of providing as much top-end comfort and convenience driver assist and safety tech and features for every peso in the SRP. The Okavanko Urban comes with push start and yes, remote start if you like the engine warmed up by the time you get inside. It is also equipped with an anti-lock brake system with electronic brake force distribution, full descent control, electronic stability control, immobilizer, and tire pressure monitor. Aside from the 3-point ELR seat belts for all, the Urban also comes with dual airbag, side and credit airbag, isofix anchors, and rear parking sensors. Finally, Geely is confident enough about the build quality of the Urban as well as its other offerings to offer a 5-year and 150,000 km warranty. The number of Geely Okavango now on the road is a sure sign that hybrids can now be considered part of the mainstream. The latest auto industry news and developments right after this break. At the core of Toyota Gazoo Racing lies Motorsports DNA. Combine that with the Philippines' best-selling sedan, you get the Vios GRS. Its black accent details and aero kit upgrade capture the feel and excitement on the track. And the 10-speed CVT that exudes the TGR competitive spirit. On the road or on the track, always be ready for a heart racing exhilarating ride. The Vios GRS, bring on the thrill. Are you into grassroots racing? Slaloms, autocross, time attacks, and circuit racing. Do you like to keep your daily ride in tip-top condition? Do you want to improve the performance and ride of your vehicle? Then head over to Fix Stop Auto Service along 91 Congressional Avenue, Project 8 in Kazan City. Fix Stop Auto Service can level up the performance and ride of your daily rider weekend racer of all brands, models, and makes from Japanese, American, European, and all other global manufacturers. Fix Stop Auto Service offers preventive maintenance services as well as upgrades of brakes, suspension, and other mechanical works. Fix Stop also caters to all your needs for performance tires and accessories to make your dream vehicle stand out on the road or for just your enjoyment. For appointments, call 0917-803-8283 or message us on our Facebook page www.facebook.com slash fixstopautoservice.
Welcome back to Autofocus. We now have the latest auto industry news. Volkswagen Philippines hosted members of the Motoring Media to a Ride and Drive event to showcase the VW T-Cross and lifestyle activities one associates with the German brand SUV crossover. The event started at the Volkswagen Hall of the AC Motor Central with breakfast and briefing to highlight the engineering, technology, design, and comfort and convenient features that made the T-Cross a bestseller in various countries and regions, even getting named Car of the Year by motoring publications. Then it was time for participants to experience the T-Cross firsthand on a drive up to Tagaytay. We are here right now at Hill Barn Cafe and Restaurant uh, with the 2022 Media Ride and Drive for the Volkswagen T-Cross. We started off at the Volkswagen BGC and we went to actually Kapihang for a pottery event and then we're now here at Hill Barn to showcase the new T-Cross from Volkswagen. The T-Cross, aside from of course it being a global model from Volkswagen, with uh, a lot of the German technology that you would want to find in a, a Volkswagen. We wanted to actually showcase in this event, not just that, but also how new car buyers could experience, how can they be more than one thing with the Volkswagen T-Cross. One activity that was enjoyed by participants showcased the kind of adventure that can be had with the T-Cross. Here in this event, our friends from the media were able to experience something new that they weren't able to do before, where we, they were able to make clay pots from their bare hands. And for your young millennials, I'm sure you, you haven't heard of the movie Ghost, but uh, <laughs> that was the inspiration for old guys like me. <laughs> but it was a fun event, they enjoyed it, and uh, they were able to experience the lifestyle side of the Volkswagen T-Cross. The event was also about enjoying the handling, performance, and comfort and conveniences offered by the T-Cross. This is a beautiful drive designed for enjoying the moonroof and then you get to use all the gadgets and enjoy the, the handling of the car. Nice and simple, relaxed drive. More on the relaxed vibe, you know, and experiencing art and things like that. So that's basically the feel for this drive. Toyota Motor Philippines, through its partner Toyota Financial Services Philippines, has come up with a Kabuhayan on Wheels financing program to make it easier for micro, small, and medium enterprises to acquire the all-new Light Ace. Toyota is inviting MSSEs to start moving forward in their business with the all-new Toyota Light Ace, which is available in pickup, panel van, FX utility van, and cargo aluminum van variants. The program offers MSMEs loans and lease terms that are customizable to ensure hassle-free payment terms. There is also the Light Sabulsa promo which allows customers to pay as low as 2,903.50 pesos weekly for their Light Ace. Toyota says this is part of the vision of bringing mobility for all and the goal of enabling local businesses to contribute to economic recovery. Those are the latest news and developments in the automotive industry. We shall take another short break. Stay with us. I'll be right back. At the core of Toyota Gazoo Racing lies Motorsports DNA. Combine that with the Philippines' best-selling sedan, you get the Vios GRS. Its black accent details and aero kit upgrade capture the feel and excitement on the track. And the 10-speed CVT that exudes the TGR competitive spirit. On the road or on the track, always be ready for a heart-racing, exhilarating ride. The Vios GRS. Bring on the thrill. Welcome back to Autofocus, the country's premier automobile news and features electronic magazine. Here's our comparison of the latest automobile models belong to the same category on Head to Head. The 
This edition of Head to Head Pits, an American crossover SUV. The Chevy Tracker Red Line against a Korean competitor, the Kia Seltos SX automatic transmission. And a spec to spec comparo. Beyond brand loyalty, getting to choose the right crossover SUV for one's family or personal use from among the myriad of offerings in the local market is getting more difficult these days. There are just too many offerings in various design styles from sporty and edgy to classy and elegant. In various levels of trim, comfort and convenience, smart connectivity, as well as driving assist and safety. It's a good idea to compare specifications and features line by line like between the Chevy Tracker LT Red Line and the Kia Seltos SX-AT. The Chevy Tracker LT Red Line is 4,270mm long, 1,791mm wide, and 1,627mm tall with a 2,570mm long wheelbase and minimum ground clearance of 161mm. The Kia Seltos SX-AT is 4,370mm long, 1,800mm wide, and 1,650mm tall with a minimum ground clearance of 170mm and a 2,630mm long wheelbase. The top-of-the-line Chevy Tracker LT Red Line comes with red exterior accents and trim found on the wide horizontal beam of front double grille with a black Chevy bow tie on the gloss black side mirrors and the 17-inch black alloy wheels. The red line also features an electric sliding panoramic sunroof, LED projector headlamps with manual leveling and auto on-off function, daytime running lights at double S turn indicators, side mirrors with power adjust and heater functions as well as integrated turn signals, LED tail lamps, black B pillars, lower body molding, rear fog lamps, rear spoiler, high mount stop lamp, and roof antenna. The Kia Seltos SX-AT comes with projector type LED headlamps, LED daytime running lights, LED front fog lamps, LED rear combination lamps, black and silver molding on grill, turn light indicators on side view mirrors, and roof rails. Other exterior features include fin type antenna, satin finish on belt line molding, rear window defogger, intermittent front windshield wipers, rear spoiler with LED high mount stop lamp, and 215, 5.5 or 17 tires mounted on 17 inch alloy rims. Chevrolet equipped the Tracker Red Line with many of the modern conveniences expected in top-of-the-line models, including a passive entry system and push-button start. The Tracker Red Line cabin features a black interior with jet black faux leather seats with red double stitching, dual barrel sports instrument panel with colored driver information console and leather-wrapped D-shaped steering wheel with audio controls. The driver's seat can be adjusted six ways with a unique combination of power and manual system. The front passenger seat adjusts four ways. The back row seats for three splits and fold 60-40 and features retractable headrests. Other comfort and convenience features include automatic climate control, AC cabin pollen filter, power windows and rear window defogger. The Seltos SX comes with smart entry system with illuminated push-button start. The three-spoke leather upholstered steering wheel tilts and telescopes and features buttons for audio, Bluetooth and cruise control. The front seats slide and recline with driver seats also adjusting for height. The center console box doubles as a sliding armrest. The second row seat splits 60-40, reclines and folds flat. Seats are upholstered in fabric and leather and material. Other interior features include scuff plates, twin front cup holders, four bottle holders, two 12-volt power outlets, power windows, single-zone automatic air conditioning. The infotainment of the Tracker Redline comes from a floating 8-inch colored touchscreen display with the latest version of the Chevrolet MyLink infotainment system with Apple CarPlay and Bluetooth, a tutor, video, and six speakers. Infotainment on the Celtos comes from an 8-inch touchscreen, AM-FM radio, MP3 player, USB port, Apple CarPlay, and Android Auto, and six speakers. Underneath the hood of the Chevrolet Tracker is a lightweight, new-generation 1.0-liter 3-cylinder DOHC Ecotec turbo engine that generates 116 horsepower at 5,800 rpm and 175 newton meters of torque at 1,500 to 4,200 rpm. This is made into a 6-speed automatic transmission delivering power and torque to the front wheels. The suspension features McPherson struts in front and compound crank rear axle system in the rear. Stopping power comes from all-wheel disc brake system, ventilated in front and solid in the rear. The Kia Seltos 2.0 SX is powered by a 2.0-liter inline 4-cylinder gasoline engine, a double overhead cam and DC VVT that generates 149 horsepower and 179 Nm of torque. An intelligent variable transmission sends power and torque to the front wheels. The suspension system features McPherson struts with stabilizer in front and a coupled torsion beam axle in the rear. The brake system uses this on all four wheels. 
Chevy equipped the Tracker Redline with active and passive safety technologies that include anti-lock braking system, electronic stability control, emergency brake warning, rollover mitigation, enhanced understeer control, cornering brake control, traction control system, engine drag control, panic brake assist, hill start assist, low vacuum brake assist, no vacuum brake assist, fading brake assist, Cork vectoring brakes, engine immobilizer, anti-theft alert system, and tire pressure monitoring system. Added for safety are front passenger and side airbags, Isofix system, 530-point ELR seat belts with indicators, and the driver and front passenger benefiting from force limiters. Parking is made more safe and convenient with a reverse camera with a wide 130-degree viewing angle and rear sensors. Key equipped the Celtos SX with driver-assisted safety technologies that include anti-lock brake system, electronic stability control, downhill brake control, and hill start assist control. The SX gets rear sensors added to the rear camera for display and rear view driving function. Standard in the Celtos are driver and front passenger airbags, 3-point ELR seat belts and pretensioners for 4, plus 2-point seat belts for rear middle seat passenger, Isofix child seat anchors, child locks, and anti-theft system. Much of what the new generation SUVs, other vehicle segments like sedans and pickups have their technologies that work to keep their drivers out of trouble without them even knowing it. After comparing what comes with the Tracker Redline and the Celtos SX, which would you rather? Suzuki El Tiga. Life is beating fast. Find what you're waiting for. Seven seater in style. Transcend your business with the Isuzu Travis. Inquire now at any Isuzu dealership near you. Welcome back to Autofocus, the country's premier automobile news and features electronic magazine. Our special feature is next. Has the local automotive industry recovered from the setbacks brought by the COVID-19 pandemic? The return of the Philippine International Motor Show may prove to be the bellwether of where the industry is right now. And from all indications, it's an exciting time for the market and their customers. Check out the excitement of the 8th PIM stage by the Chamber of Automotive Manufacturers of the Philippines Incorporated in this special feature. We have a wide array of vehicles today. We have the small two-door coupe, the M220i M Sport. We also have a 5 Series, we also have the M5, we have an X5, and of course we have the full electric BMW iX also here on display. What we're here today is for long-term sustainability. Let's talk about the BMW iX in specific. It's the first full battery electric vehicle for that BMW Philippines is launching here. And uh, well, it has a range of WLTP 300, uh, measured on the WLTP 372 kilometers. And uh, that's, on a, that's on a full charge. So that's fully electric, no fuel, uh, no fuel necessary. So what you see on your left is so-called a crew ray, which is a subcompact SUV, which is the current, currently our bread and butter model, which sells 500 units a month. This vehicle has a, has a 1.5 liter engine co uh, coming up together with the uh, dash cam camera and also uh, auto parking function. And that's also one of the reasons why it's booming. It's selling pretty good. And on your right, that is the B Compact uh, B, B Sedan vehicle, which is called M Grand, which we had launched uh, in February. And then uh, 
this is becoming one of the bread and butter model down the track since this is definitely uh, the largest uh, demand market in the Philippines. If you're going to observe here in our uh, Honda boat, we are displaying the all new CRV, the all new Civic, and the all new City. And we have also displayed here the all newly launched all new HRB RS and uh, the preview of the all new BRB. We are very happy for having Philippine International Motor Show uh, after four years. Uh, Honda, we display five units, uh, all new Civic, uh, City, and CRV. And today, we glad to announce the launching of the all new HRV RS. And also, we display the preview of the all new BRB. And also, we have a test drive car and uh, all equipped with Honda Sensing. So please visit and see and experience our model with Honda Sensing. Thank you. I think so our customers already know about our Ionified very well. So we got so many hours. The word Koti and Koti in UK, Germany, and some is the countries is, uh, for example, Auto Jaitung in Germany. It's recommended that our Ioni 5 is the best car in the EV. So I'd like to recommend the uh, Ioni 5 for the, our customer in the Philippines. And another one is our new Creta. It's a, this model are uh, produced in the, our new factory in the Indonesia. And so, so we apply the new high technologies. I think our customer in the Philippines enjoy our quality and good technologies. Isuzu being your responsible partner, we are displaying our products that are not just product itself but also business solution. Because as Isuzu, since uh, the theme of this uh, motor show is uh, mobility plus humanity, we want to showcase our uh, responsibility to our customers that we are not just selling product but also business solution that can help their life and their business as well. We are currently here in the Kia Hall, the Kia exhibit area. We are showcasing five different vehicles. The Soluto, our bestseller Stonic, our very popular Sorento, and of course, our uh, MPV, the Carnival. But on top of those four, we are also launching uh, the first electric vehicle for Kia in the country, the Kia EV6. First, you will see the styling. is designed to be an everyday vehicle, uh, something that will appeal to the young prof professional, uh, young executives, and of course, uh, it's fully electric and it has one of the longest ranges in the Philippine market with over 500 kilometers. At 500 kilometers, you can actually use this as your everyday car, even for a week with the average travel uh, distances that we have in Metro Manila. That's good enough for just one charging. It's a great event for the Mitsubishi provider some great event to showcase our Rariet model, Prada and Montero Sports. And also we'll participate in Asia cross country rally. So we provide a uh, model of the rally and anyway uh, to showcase our advanced model to the Filipino people. That is a quite amazing opportunity we have. Starting from the Rariet, Strader, Montero Sports, Rariet Bajan and also uh, Expander, our uh, top seller, uh, best-selling MPB ex Expander, and uh, our great sedan, Mirror G412. And then our great uh, number one seller, commercial brand, L300. We uh, propose to Filipino people like uh, buy through the so many variants. Uh, today, we appear the coffee, uh, kind of the kitchen car. 
and also out on the PHEV. Not only the vehicle, we try to connect the great electricity circuit, uh, vehicle and the house, home. And those type of the proposal now we have. After four years hiatus, this is very important because we are celebrating the, the automobile industry. And today is about mobility and humanity. So it's very important for us because we are working to address social concerns to the Filipinos. And we are full throttled on electrification. This is one of our key features. So on top of all the things that we have done in the past with our key core models, like the Navara and the Terra, we are bringing last year the Leaf and now the Kixi Power as one of the main launches. And also we are bringing another new product, which is the Levina. So the theme this year is mobility and humanity. So that theme relies also what we are trying to address. Mobility means uh, better, less uh, pollution, zero pollution, zero fatality. It's part of also our core uh, objectives as a company. So that's why we are very heavily invested in electrification. SHBS is Suzuki's light, compact and smart hybrid system. So basically it's equipped with integrated starter generator which converts kinetic energy to electrical energy during deceleration and store it to the battery. That same energy is being used to provide electric motor assistance to the engine during acceleration where the car consumes most fuel. So basically, it creates more fuel-efficient performance and more dynamic driving. So aside from our hybrid electric vehicles, we also have our very exciting Toyota Gazoo racing line. So we have the big three, the GR Supra, GR Yaris, and the GR86. So those are our uh, performance cars that are very much uh, anticipated by all our fans and supporters. And uh, also we have, right outside the halls, we have our test drive vehicles where we let the public, the attendees, try out all our uh, vehicles in our electrified lineup as well as our uh, GRS uh, line. The future of the auto industry is electric, both literally and figuratively. And auto enthusiasts will certainly be enjoying the ride. At the core of Toyota Gazoo Racing lies Motorsports DNA. Combine that with the Philippines' best-selling sedan, you get the Vios GRS. Its black accent details and aero kit upgrade capture the feel and excitement on the track and the 10-speed CVT that exudes the TGR competitive spirit. On the road or on the track, always be ready for a heart-racing, exhilarating ride. The Vios GRS. Bring on the thrill. The Mitsubishi Strata Athlete. Confident to the core. Welcome back. We have more cars for you to know and appreciate as we have our second car review this week. Isuzu Philippines says it listens to its clients about what they want and need to have in light duty trucks and other models in its lineup. One of the newer members of its commercial vehicle lineup, the NLR85 ES Smoother, meets a lot of these wants and needs. Over two decades now, Isuzu has been the number one truck brand in the country, led in part by its popular light duty N series trucks. Over the years, Isuzu says it introduced innovative features that made driving and operating trucks all the more comfortable for drivers and more cost effective for operators. Among the latest N trucks rolled out locally is the NLR85 ES Smoother with cab and chassis that can serve as a platform for passenger vans, aluminum cargo vans, and refrigerated vans, among other uses. At Isuzu, we value the comment and suggestion of our customers, which is why we work side by side and check on their actual truck operation. In this way, we can come out with the best business solution to the customer's need. 
the smoother shares the same hexapod design for the cab that maximizes interior space. The fascia is designed to provide good aerodynamic flow that should help keep fuel costs down. Climbing into the smoother is made easier with the vertical handles on the wide doors that open to reveal the convenient step as well as the grab handles on the door pillar. The seats are surprisingly comfortable and can be reclined for better fit. The steering wheel tilts and telescopes for optimal driving position for better and should be of great use to drivers over long trips. As we work closely with our customers, we try to assess their challenges such as driver's fatigue and high maintenance costs. With the new N-Series smoother truck, we are trying to address all of those as it's proven by our new automatic manual transmission or AMT, coupled with our durable and very reliable Isuzu 4JJ1 TCC engine. This truck is very easy to drive using only two pedals in its operation. It decreases driver's fatigue, especially in long hours on road or heavy traffic in Metro Manila. The seat provides good visibility through the expansive front windshield as well as the windows that slant downwards, offering a better view of what's beside and just in front of the truck. The large side mirrors also help provide a better view of what's around and beside the truck. The dash features high visibility instrumentation dials with warning lights and switches perfectly positioned for easier viewing and operation. A nod to our smart connectivity world is the presence of a USB charger for phones and other gadgets. Many truck operators now track their units using GPS apps on phones. The smoother comes standard with central door locking and power windows as well as a radio tuner with USB connection and two speakers. Air conditioning comes as an option. In giving the NLR85 SE truck the smoother tag, Isuzu may have wanted to highlight its smooth handling and performance for a light-duty commercial truck. The smoother is powered by Isuzu's vaunted reliable Isuzu 4JJ1 TCC engine, a 2,999cc four-cylinder powerhouse with intercooled turbocharger and CRDI tech that generates a maximum 124 PS at 2,600 RPM and 354 Nm of torque at 1,500 RPM. That's power and torque more than enough for its class and listed dross payload of 2,610 kg. Those not familiar with driving light-duty commercial trucks will find operating the smoother surprisingly easy, especially with automated manual transmission or AMT. Isuzu says the AMT is a manual transmission with an intelligent gear-shifting computer-controlled system that allows it to function like an automatic without the need of a clutch pedal. The AMT comes with Econo mode that can be actuated with a push of a button. In Econo mode, the gear shifts come earlier for greater fuel efficiency. The driver can also have some control over gear shifts by sliding over the shifter to the side and toggle gear shifts up or down. The MT makes driving in stop and go traffic or in hilly road conditions a breeze and less fatiguing. Aside from making it easier and economical to drive the smoother, the MT will make trucking operations more cost effective in the long run. No more expenses for maintaining, adjusting, and replacing clutch systems. Suzu says the additional expense for investing in the EMT can be recovered in as little as three years of operations, all from lower maintenance and fuel costs. Aside from handling the vehicle with longer, taller, and wider dimensions, the smoother is 4,730mm long, 2,475 millimeters wide, and 2,190mm at its highest point. Also taking a bit of getting used to for newbies driving commercial trucks is the vacuum and drum tripe braking system. Still, the smoother can surprise newbies by how it handles bumps and other road imperfections with its multi-leaf spring system on both front and rear. This year, Isuzu, aside from introducing new and innovative products such as the smoother, to celebrate our 25 years anniversary, we will be shifting towards sustainability with programs such as ongoing eco-driving seminars for fleet, free on truck scheme, and soon, we will be introducing more environment-friendly programs within the year. This is, of course, in the aim to promote a more sustainable and eco-friendly route for Isuzu in the years to come. Isuzu says it is making sustainability a major part of its program for growth and development. The smoother can be said to be part of this shift. Know more about your car and how to take care of it here on Autopedia. Hi, this is Sydney, and today we'll be talking about the supercharger. The 
Superchargers and turbochargers. You hear these two terms thrown around interchangeably and can't really blame the people on the internet because they don't really know what it is. They have no idea what it looks like, much less know how it works. So we've covered turbochargers in a past topic, so this time we'll be covering the supercharger. So basically, let's start with the similarities. Turbo and supercharger. Both of these things are called forced induction because you are force feeding more air into the engine. It's just that the way that they do it are different. A turbo uses the exhaust gases to spin a turbine that feeds air. A supercharger, on the other hand, uses a belt like this connected to the engine, connected to the alternator, water pump, air con compressor that spins two rotors in here that also force more air in. Same principle, get more air, suck more air, blow more air, make more power. The main difference between the supercharger and turbocharger is of the hardware itself. Almost all turbochargers are two circular round things. Superchargers come in this rectangular package because inside here are two intermeshing lobes. They look like gears. So what they basically do is it's also an air pump. It goes like this, air goes in, gets forced out, creates pressure. Nothing different from a turbocharger in terms of principle of operation, but how it operates is one is belt driven, one is exhaust driven. Now, let's address the popular notion, oh, superchargers are, have parasitic laws and all of that. No, it's not true. Whatever you read, once again, it's not true. Yes, it takes some energy to turn this, but that energy is a lot less than what the energy that it gives. Because if it is parasitic loss, and you're actually using more energy to turn this than what it makes, then there's no point in installing this in the first place. Let's put that in numbers. To turn this thing here, the assembly here with the lobes inside, takes about 5 horsepower from the engine. But what this gives you in return is about 40 horsepower on this 1.5 liter Honda City engine. So power-wise, for a 1.5 engine, we're adding 40 horsepower more. Basically, the behavior is like stuffing a big 2.4 liter engine into a car this small. That's the easiest way to describe the driving style and result of a supercharger. It feels like a big engine. The power curve is actually a straight line from idle all the way to red line. It's one straight line. No dips, no curves, no nothing. And it's very, very linear, which makes it a great choice for racing because unlike turbochargers, which have surged and sometimes, depending on what size the turbo is, there's a lag when you let go. It's not very great when you're coming out of a corner. This is more predictable when it comes to driving and racing. So turbocharger, supercharger, which is better? One is not better than the other. One does not make more power than the other. If you're doing this on your project car, say a Civic 1.8, there is a limit to how much horsepower you can make. Go over that limit, whether it's turbo or supercharger, then you'll break the engine. It all depends on really what you want. And of course, how much you're going to pay. Some people may say, oh, I'll spend 200 grand on a supercharger for 40 horses. But if I do turbocharger, it's only 130, 140,000. I'll go with the cheaper option. Well, that's up to you. But the biggest advantage of a supercharger system is most of these things are made in kit form. So everything that you need to be able to install it comes with it. So this one here actually installs in one day. A custom turbo setup where everything will have to be fabricated from scratch will take about a week. That's the fastest to an average of a week and a half to two weeks. So you figure out how much your downtime is worth. So that's the how and why it works of a supercharger. That's our feature in Autopedia this week. Taking care of your ride has been made easier. And that's Autofocus this week. We hope you have found this edition of your electronic automobile magazine informative as well as entertaining. Check us out on our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram accounts. On behalf of my dad, Butch Gamboa, this has been your host, Ray Louis Gamboa. Please stay safe and healthy.